What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to multiply matrices, all right? So the first thing you always wanna do is check the dimensions of each of your matrices, okay? So remember, you always list them as row times column. So here, we have a two by two, right? Because we have two rows and we have two columns, right? So you always list the rows first and the columns second. So we have a two by two here, and same thing here, we have a two by two, right? Now, in order to multiply two matrices together, this number right here and this first number right here have to be the exact same, okay? If they're not, you cannot multiply these together, okay? So if I'm trying to multiply A times B, again, you need to check that the last number right here, which essentially is the columns of matrix A, and uh, this number right here is the rows of matrix B, right? So those two numbers have to match up. So since in this case they do, that means we can multiply these together, all right? And the other thing we can get from writing this out like this, these two numbers at the very end, that tells you how big your matrix is gonna be for your answer, okay? So far for our answer, we're gonna have a two by two. All right, now if we're gonna multiply matrix A and B together, Again, we know it's going to be a two by two, right? And the way you start filling it out is you always start with row one and column one, okay? So you basically go down the row, down the column, okay? So then uh, we're gonna start with two times negative five, okay? So two times negative five, and then we're gonna add that, again, just going down the row, down the column, nine times one. So nine times one. Okay, now, where do you go from here? Well, you still stick with your first row right here, and then we're gonna go to column two over here. Okay, so again, you're gonna go down the row, down the column. So again, we're gonna go two times zero, and that's gonna go over here. So we're gonna have two times zero, plus, going down the row, down the column, nine times three, right? Nine times three. Okay, and real quick, just in case you're confused as to where we're filling this, or supposed to fill this out, uh, one way you can think about it is, since both of these are two by twos, right, we can kind of draw a two by two. So we started with row one, column one, right? Row one and column one intersect at the top left. So that's why we filled it out here first, right? And then we went to row one, column two. And row one, column two intersect in the top right. So that's why we filled it out in the top right. Okay, so now I know I, I have two more spots to fill in right here. So I know I'm gonna have row two, which is down here, and column one. So that's gonna be on the bottom left, right? So I'm gonna multiply row two, wow, that is a disgusting two, row two times column one. And again, you go down the row, down the column. So we're gonna do seven times negative five, so seven times negative five, plus going down the row, down the column, negative four times one, right? So negative four times one. Okay, and now to lastly fill in this one, we need to go, remember this is gonna be row two, column two, because that's where it intersects, right? So we're gonna multiply R two, row two times column two. So we're gonna do seven times zero, so seven times zero plus negative four times three, right? Go down the row, down the column, negative four times three. Okay, cool. So now if we simplify this one more time, uh, two times negative five, that's equal to negative 10 and plus nine right there. So negative 10 plus nine, that's equal to negative one, right? So we're gonna have negative one. Here, uh, two times zero, that's equal to zero, plus nine times three is 27, so 27, positive 27. Then here, seven times negative five is negative 35, so negative 35 plus uh, negative four. So negative 35 minus four is equal to negative 39, right? So minus 39. And lastly, seven times zero, zero, plus negative four times three is negative 12. So zero plus negative 12 is equal to negative 12. Okay, so A times B would be this matrix right here.
All right, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. So let's just switch up the dimensions of the matrices here and try one more example. All right, so here is our next example. Okay, so if I want to multiply matrix C times matrix D, okay, I want to multiply C times D. Can I do that? Again, the first thing you have to do is check the dimensions, right? So matrix C right here is a one by three, right? One by three, uh, because we have one row and three columns, right? And then matrix D over here is a three by two, right? Because we have three rows and two columns, right? Three by two. So if I wanna multiply C times D, I can do that, right? Because this number right here and this number right here match up, right? And again, the other thing we get from this, the numbers at the end over here, they tell us how big the matrix is for our answer, okay? So our answer is going to be a one by two, okay? One by two. Now, one last thing I wanna point out here is what if I flipped C and D, okay? What if I wanted to multiply D times C like that? Could I do that? Well, again, D is a three by two, right? And C is a one by three. Would I be able to multiply D times C like this? No, I wouldn't, right? Because these two numbers right here don't match. They're not equal to each other. So I would not be able to multiply D times C but I can multiply C times D, okay? With matrices, order matters. All right, so again, if I wanna multiply C times D, we can do that. And remember, it's gonna be a one by two, so that means one row, two columns, okay? One row, two columns, okay? So remember, you start with row one and column one, right? So just go down the row, down the column, okay? And again, if you need a little diagram to remind you where we're gonna fill stuff in, we can do that, okay? So we're gonna have one row, right? One row and two columns, right? So first of all, row one and column one, where do those intersect? Well, this is row one, this is column one, so they're gonna intersect right here, right? So that's where we're gonna add this first part, okay? So again, go down the row, down the column. So we're gonna do two times 10, right? Two times 10, and then we're gonna add that to five times four, five times four, and then add that to the last one, eight times zero, right? Eight times zero. And we're gonna need more room, so let me expand that a little bit. Okay, so cool, we did the first row, the first column, so we took care of that, right? We put it right there. Now we have to do the first row and the second column, which we'll put right here, right? So we're gonna do the first row and the second column, all right? So again, we're gonna do two times seven in this case. So two times seven, and we're gonna add that to five times one, right? Five times one, and we're gonna add that to the last one, eight times negative two. Eight times negative two. Okay, so now we can simplify this now that we finished it. So first of all, two times 10, that's equal to 20. So 20 plus uh, five times four, that's equal to 20. And plus eight times zero is just zero. So 20 plus 20 is equal to 40. Okay, and then here, two times seven, that's equal to 14. Plus uh, five times one is equal to five. Plus eight times negative two is equal to negative 16. Okay, so four plus five, that's equal to 19. So 19 minus 16 is equal to three, right? So then we have three right there. Okay, so matrix C times matrix D would simply be this right here. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.